Okay, today I thought I'd show you a Series 70 Colt government model. Uh, those of you that are 1911 guys might say, well, what's it doing with a commander style hammer and a beaver tail if it's a government model? Um, this is a drop in Wilson that doesn't require alteration of the frame, which a lot of guys have been curious about, so I thought I'd show that. Um, the caveat to that is you have to have the uh, commander style trigger to fit into it. You can't use the uh, GI one. But this gun has a cart barrel in it, it's been reworked, it's got cylinder and slide, fire components, Wilson combat trigger. It's a nice piece. Uh, it shoots well. It's had the ejection port lowered, so it's had a lot of work done on it, which uh, you know raises the price up to where hmm, you know maybe you could have bought a gun with all these features on it already. But if you've got one of these guns already and you want to update it, uh, and you don't want to, you know, that's a cheaper way to do it to get a more modern, a more modern pistol. Or if you just want to add the beaver tail and the hammer and sear. It gives you the modern features without, uh, you know, paying a huge price. And here's a close-up look at that Wilson Combat grip safety that you can put on a GI model without modifying the frame. And it actually gives a good high hold, and it actually looks pretty good. Um, if you wanted to get fancy, you know, you can always alter the frame, but that you have to put refinishing into the frame and whatnot. So a lot of guys are looking at something like this on their GI models at Pincham, and this one feels real nice in the grip. It works rather well. Um, the caveat to that, like I said before, is you've got to put the commander trigger on there. And if you're changing that, you're probably going to get a sear to match it, and so that ups the, ups the price a little bit. But if you have a nice blued finish on the gun, you don't have to alter the frame. So this is uh, a real good, viable way of uh, modernizing a GI model if you really don't want to, you know, alter the frame for, you know, whatever reason. So there's a look at that. It's got a memory bump. And it actually fits in there pretty well. If you wanted to get fancy, you could remove some material in this area here and match it up to the contour of the frame a little bit more if you wanted to get fancy without altering the frame. So that's a pretty viable way of changing it. And these cylinder and slide ignition kits are just awesome. They're drop-in and you get a real, a real good, uh, about a four pound trigger pull. Really nice. Um, this particular Wilson Combat Trigger, one thing I don't like about it is you can see the roll pin holes that hold the bow in. I don't care much for that. Otherwise, it's a good trigger. Alright, thanks for watching.